The pathologist, of course, has to do many positive things, so we have to confirm, com confirm that it's malignant, what it clinically is su suspected of malignancy. But we have to add some additional information, like the type of the tumor and the grade of the tumor, which will be valuable information for you. Also, if we see any high risk factors in this tumor, a negative part of the diagnosis is not to diagnose what is not a cancer as a cancer. So there are many cancer mimickers, but one is the most dangerous, which is the solitary rectal ulcer. We also, we don't want to, to diagnose a false negative. So if there's a high suspicion clini clinically of, a di of a cancer, then we, uh, and we don't see any cancer, we ask for to biopsy again. There are many histological types of carcinoma, and some of them are associated to inherited diseases, so we should tell them. Also, there are histologic, if we see high grade histology, then we should say because uh, the throughput of this patient will be different. We see in the right side normal mucosa. And uh, in, the, in the left side, in the right side, a low grade adenocarcinoma, which looks like the normal mucosa. And in the bottom and right side, we see a high grade adenocarcinoma. We should inform that if we see it. Also, we can tell about histologic features of suggestive of mucosatellite stability. One is intratumoral or peritumoral lymphocytic. Uh, response. If there is a lot of lymphocytic response in the tumor, we should talk about it. We see this tumor here. You can see it here. This is the cancer cells and we hit, see all these lymph node aggregates by the cancer. And this is very uh, suggestive of microsatellite instability. We can use some techniques like a, a, a T cell marker CD3 by immunohistochemistry to show this infiltration. And in this other cancer, we see there's no lymphocyte infiltration in the cancer.